So today you join me from the driver's seat of a 1994 Volvo 850. Now this is my buddy Phil's car and I've wanted to do this car for a very long time for some very specific reasons. I think this is a great car to bring to the channel and to expose to you guys, to the community that is YouTube. Now Phil himself is an inspiration to me, he really is. And he should be an inspiration to the internet in my opinion. And I wanted to expose him and his car because he's disabled. He only has use of his left leg and his left arm. So the fact that he's so into cars that he's willing to not let his disability get in the way of what he wants in life is exactly why I wanted to do this car. Now the car itself is an automatic and obviously having only use of your left leg, he has a pedal box modification that means you've got a pedal on your left hand side to accelerate with. Obviously at the moment I'm not running with the left hand side accelerator, I'm running with the normal right hand side accelerator. I love the fact that that's an option, that you're able to get that for this car. He had the pedal box from a previous Volvo 850 that he had had. So when it was time for him to you know, buy a bigger car again, buy an estate that can fit his wheelchair in the back of, he obviously went for one of these. They're cheap enough, standard, they have that fantastic engine up front that you're able to you know, have the order space in the world, have the comfort, and then you've got that engine to sort of go with it. Two weeks after having the car, it actually blew up though, which was a bit of a problem. So for him, it was a you know do or die situation. What do I do with it? And he thought, you know, no, I, I'm not gonna go and buy another one. I wanna do this one up. So instead of putting the standard motor back in, him and his friend Chris decided to put the S70 T5 engine in it, which they rebuilt with forged conrods, S70 AE pistons. So the car is now running over 300 brake horsepower. So in reality, the fact that, you know, although the disability is holding you back in life, it didn't hold him back for wanting, you know, to have a good car, have an exciting fast car. And if it's a Volvo Estate, hats off to you, mate. Honestly, I think this is so awesome. And realistically, it's a sleeper. You wouldn't think that this car is running over 300 brake horsepower when you looked at it. And then when you realize that the guy driving has a passion to excel past the disability, just makes it for me and I think that is you know that should be how it is and it touched my heart to know that regardless of you know disabilities and regardless of things holding you back in life he went for you know a forged engined Volvo estate I think that is so cool and even pulling up to the shoot today he is you know got up early and spent four hours cleaning it four hours you know I don't have the passion realistically to do that so for him, it's unbelievable. It, it makes it for me, it really does. There's the love for cars out there with people like Phil. Um, it just absolutely makes it for me. And the fact that he's built this car, it's comfy, it's quiet, it's absolutely a joy to drive. And then when you put your foot down. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's so fast. It really is. You've got to realise, looking in the rear view mirror, you're in an estate, you're in a big car. You know, 1.5 tonnes-ish. So to have that pace, that sound, you know, coming from this car is just so cool. I absolutely love it. I think it's the coolest thing ever. So the car is running the TDO4 16T angle flanged turbo and the car is running the S70 white 350cc injectors. Now the block in this car, is the same sort of one that they put in the RS Focus. So you get the same sort of roar as you do from an RS in this Volvo Estate. <laughs> it sounds insane when it's on full chat. As we come down this perfect little B road, stick our foot down. <laughs> oh, it's so fast. <laughs> such a sleeper you would not expect that this car is able to you know do that realistically it's not something that i've ever seen oh, so when you do come on boost the noise it just roars like mad what a lovely car to drive though it really is it's so spacious in here you've got these fantastically comfy seats obviously a standard these to have the half leather seats so phil has actually gone out of his way and put the full leather electric heated seats in here but it drives beautifully for a 1994 car it's quiet it's comfortable 
it's really really nice to drive it really is and i can understand why he's done this and then when you put your foot down that fantastic note from the uh, engine which i'm addicted to at the moment oh it's so cool so guys here we are fantastic day let's have a look around this volvo 850 now straight away this actually started life as just a normal 850. So the engine has been replaced with a fully rebuilt Volvo B524 T3 engine from the uh, S70. It's got forged com rods. It's got the S70 AE pistons and it's good for around 300 brake horsepower at the moment. And with the current turbo and a good map, you'll see, you know, just shy of 400 when it's done. It's got a Ricca 304 engineering remap. Car has also got a three inch custom downpipe with a 200 cell sports cap. It's got a GPI performance 50 millimeter core alloy front mounted intercooler with custom pipe work. You can't quite see it though. So it's very, very stealth, very, very sleeper like. The car itself is also sat on uh, Kony FSD shocks with IBAC 30 mil lowering springs. And coming around the back, you've got many novelty stickers. It's nice to have some cheeky stickers going around the car like that one. Now, now, coming in the back of the car you're met with this very luxurious interior the seat is actually quite far back as well so you've still got more than enough leg room but this i must admit is one of my favorite little bits it's actually a child seat which i think is crazy what a great idea whether that's actually legal now i'm not that sure also the door handles are like very cool little feature jumping in the front you're met with this fantastic interior, heated, all electric. Obviously where Phil only uses his left hand to drive, he's got a little uh, trucker style steering wheel knob that you can take off there, just in case you need to. Now the pedal box, obviously this is something that I wanted to feature hugely on the channel because I think if anyone out there is, you know, in the same position as Phil, you are able to do this. This is the thing and I want to expose the fact that this is, you know, you are able to do this. So this is all it is, this flicks up, this one flicks down. So there's your accelerator. It's literally that easy. And this mod, you know, is around 390, 400 quid to do to each car. So that's something I wanted to talk about. That's, you know, a 400 quid mod that, you know, a lot of people would see past. But obviously, if you only got the use of your left leg, you're going to have to get that sort of thing, uh, you know, put in the car. So that's about a 400 quid modification. And jumping in the car, down here, you've got an AMD wideband air and fuel ratio gauge with a HKS boost gauge next to it in a custom pod and you've got this sidekick monkey in there as well but it's very comfortable in here it's very nice you've got a sunroof as well with a bit of uh one dollar bills on there which i like carpet on the doors as well volvo know how to make a car don't they and coming under the bonnet this is the best bit it really really makes it for me the s70 forged con rodded engine uh, running about 300 brake horsepower at the moment obviously not supposed to be in this car this car did not come with this engine and you've got an oem strut brace going along there as well so yeah i think this car means so much more than I can put on camera. The reality is, you know, faced with things in Phil's life, you know, people saying he couldn't do things, people saying he can't pass his test, can't get a car, you know, the love of cars was there. What makes me laugh is his previous car to this was an S14A. He then engine converted it to the RB25 out of the uh, R33 GTST. Now, obviously he couldn't keep the car for too long because, you know, daily wise, he couldn't put his wheelchair in the back, which is a big shame, you know. Let's be honest, that's a bloody cool car to have. That's an awesome conversion to do as well. And it's the same with this car. He obviously needed more space. He needed, you know, enough room for his wheelchair and stuff. And, you know, people in the back and comfort, you know, I personally love my comfort, so I completely understand why you would do this. But to me, it's an inspiration. It should be to you guys as well. Someone, you know, that is faced with these things in life that, you know, people telling him he can't do this and can't do that. And then he goes out and does it and proves them wrong. And that's why I love featuring these sort of cars on the channel. It's exposing the fact that, you know, regardless of disability, regardless of, you know, everything under the sun, you're still able to have fun with cars, build them the way you want them to be, make them fast, you know, regardless of what the car is. Follow your dreams. That's what it's all about. And I'm so glad I could bring it to the channel for you guys, because that's what it's all about. Stuff like this. To me, it does not get any better. So, a little uh, first and second gear pull for us. <laughs> that is awesome so yeah overall one unbelievable car and i love it i love the fact that phil went out there and did that it's not like any normal volvo is it it's it's his car you know good on him for going and doing it and uh you know making 
a negative really into the biggest positive ever. And that's what I want to say, guys. You know, regardless of the negatives in your life, go and chase the positives. Go and do what you want to do. Go and modify cars that you want to modify. That's what it's all about. And a huge shout out to Phil for letting me, you know, feature the car on the channel. It's absolutely awesome. So guys, I hope you like the video. I hope you take something away from this, you know, in a positive way. Go and enjoy your cars. Go and build something you want to build and just love life. Anyway, guys, I hope you like the video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all on the next one. Cheers, guys. Woo!